Hey guys, so Jeremy here with another poster review, for, courtesy of me buying something off of Red Bull. Now it is not Black Friday yet, but it is coming up and I am building my catalog for what I'm going to be able to buy. I also have to consider in measurement size for the wall here. But uh, speaking of which, if you didn't catch it from the hat or from the title, this is a Blues Brothers poster. I have been trying to find a replacement, a minimalistic replacement for this guy here for quite some time. He is probably one of the oldest posters I've had in my collection and it's funny because he was originally my brother's first and yeah, he's been with us for a while, like uh, he's part of some of the original... These two here actually, we both bought from the same store which went out of business years ago which was a movie poster store which was awesome so it's kind of uh, why I like Redbubble so much is because I had to try and find posters again. So anyway, let's open this guy up. This one is courtesy of 547 Design, so I'm really excited to see how this looks. Now, it's funny actually, uh, there's two types of movies that I find that are very hard to find on, on Redbubble for poster design. Uh, one of them is Star Wars. The closest I've got is like certain kind of posters, very minimalistic, like three or four. And then also I've uh, found The Empire Strikes Back, but it's TIE Fighters attacking King Kong in the Empire State Building, so can't really use that to replace uh, the Star Wars one. So anyway, I'm interested in, I like the blue. I really like the blue. So here's the end design of some uh, photos of... Yeah, that's not too bad actually. I was worried a little bit that the chain link fence would kind of overlay and like not really mesh well but I really find it works with the titles on the with the lettering I like uh, the bottom I like minimalistic posters that give details about the cast and crew and just uh, the people who went into the production of it and you know actually I think the outlines of uh, Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi are actually really good that was something I was a little bit worried about is that uh, John Belushi's hair looked a little bit, I don't know, his whole outline looks a little bit sleazy in the design, but this looks uh, really, really good. I really have to commend uh, five, 547 Design for this. I think this is really good, and I can't wait to put it up on the wall. So that means that gives me more room for more posters. So, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. That's I uh, think that's a really good design. Uh, speaking of which, uh, talking about Redbubble so much, I'm going to be... Basically right now what I've started is, I did this last year when I first heard about them and I did it all on the Black Friday weekend. Uh, I'm doing it better this time. I typed in movie posters into Redbubble and there's 19,000 results and I plan to go through every single page before Black Friday comes up and I'm just favoriting all of the designs I really like and I'm going to put my list of favorites up on, in, in a link in this video so if you guys want to check out what I'm looking at. Some of the designs you can find on this website are amazing. You just have to put the time and effort into looking through them all. So, yeah, um, obviously I will never get all of them because that's way too many. I already have a wall fill here. But, uh, yeah, guys, definitely check it, check out the link and uh, check out 547 Design as well. They have some really cool stuff as well. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. And uh, I'll be putting up John and Dan very soon. Thanks.